Hi guys, welcome to Invictus Motors. We have here with us today something that's a little bit more special. It is the Aston Martin Vantage AMR Hero Edition. It's basically made by the racing division of Aston Martin and it is very different from the standard Vantage, which in design it might look very similar, but in terms of driving and some of the characteristics, it's very, very different. One of the first uh, things that you may notice is the amount of carbon on the car. So at the front, you've got this massive uh, splitter. All the carbon bits and pieces actually um, are not just from a design perspective, but they're used um, to reduce weight. And overall, this is 100 kilograms lighter than the standard Vantage. Um, so at the front, in terms of the other design features, the headlights are the same as a standard um, Vantage. Um, and what I really like about the headlights is this wing effect. And these are essentially your daytime uh, running lights. You also have um, an air intake here as well, which is in carbon. So it's a, a nice touch. And then coming around the side, um, the car sits on uh, P0 uh, tires. It's got 20 inch uh, wheels. Um, the other massive upgrade, uh, which I personally love, is these huge uh, six-spot carbon ceramic brakes. Um, and the beauty of that is that, you know, they, they, they have a amazing performance from the get-go. You don't need to get heat into them. And also, if you have the car parked up for a week, a month, a year, they're always shining. Um, so these are some of the reasons why I love um, ceramic brakes. You've got carbon on the side as well. Um, so the theme here is black and yellow, uh, which you will notice it's got lots of yellow stripes. Um, you may have seen um, the yellow stripe on the uh, F1 safety car as well. So that's where the inspiration uh, comes from. Uh, the wing mirrors are covered in carbon um, and they're also folding as well as this car has 360 degree camera as well, which is very, very useful. It's not a very big car. Um, but still, in this day and age, um, with tight roads, bollards, etc., I think uh, it's quite handy um, to have that. The roof is also carbon, so this is what I try to say, it's a bit carbon galore. I like these concave style alloy wheels as well. Um, they have this matte grey finish, um, which again, looks quite good. But yeah, each to their own, that can be changed as well, if it didn't tickle your fancy. Coming around the back, so you've got these uh, smoked out lights, which again, um, they sort of curve upwards and I like it because it is something different. Um, and when they light up, they do look uh, quite stunning. So somebody coming behind you, you know, they know straight away that it is a special car. Um, and then the other sort of <laughs> massive ticket item here is the diffuser. It's got lots of carbon pieces with the uh, twin exhaust pipes. This diff diffuser is massive, you know, I mean, it's absolutely humongous. And obviously it's not just for show. There's a real purpose behind it in terms of channeling air under the car and out as quickly as possible. Moving on to the inside. This car, honestly, is so much different than the standard Vantage. Um, personally, I was quite disappointed with the interior of the Vantage, um, with the standard Vantage, maybe because, you know, I'm not a huge fan of leather, but here they've got the perfect balance. Down the middle is Alcantara with a leather uh, yellow stripe, which sort of follows through uh, down up the headrest. And then you've got a center um, in the center as well, that stripe going through. You've got the AMR badging on the seats as well. The seats are very comfortable. They hug you incredibly well. They're electrically adjustable. They're heated as well. So it's a very comfortable space to be in. Um, and, you know, they, they, they look great as well. And it's got the uh, stitching as well um, in that green color. The other convenience is obviously it has a sat nav, um, the Bluetooth connectivity, um, the manual gearbox just below it, you will see the AMR badging and it does remind you that it is one of 200. Um, and then there's lots of carbon pieces here as well in and around the um, air vents, um, the uh, display dash. And what I like about the display dash is it has these 
almost like ears on the side um, and then it's covered in leather up above with um, the green stitching. Um, there's a lot of Alcantara in this, even by the glove box underneath it is um, Alcantara and down the side is Alcantara. Oh, I really like Alcantara because it is a bit of a premium material. Even the headlining is covered in Alcantara because, yeah, when I'm driving, I don't know, maybe it's become a bit of a habit, but I look around me and I, and, and I like touching things in material. In terms of the display, it's a really good place to be in. I think Aston has done what I think is the right thing to do, which is to retain a lot of buttons. So we don't have to have some touch screen that we need to try and find whilst we're driving. As long as you know where the position of the buttons is, you hit it and it just works. And I think, um, you know, this design is sort of going out of fashion with more electronics and iPad-like screens being installed into cars. Okay, let's go for a drive. I love the swan doors of the Aston Martin and also there's been some weight saving so this door feels really really light going up. So let's go for a drive. So in terms of the gearbox, it's a seven speed manual gearbox, which everybody has really longed for in having the Aston Martin. So it has a dog leg reverse gearbox. So it takes a bit of a while to get used to. For example, the first gear is down and then second is up. You know, the idea being it's easier to use um, on the track but it does take a bit of getting used to so in terms of the engine it has a 4 litre twin turbo it produces 510 brake horsepower and about 630 newton meters of torque this has a tad bit less torque um, compared um, to the standard Vantage and that's for weight saving um, reasons. So what Aston didn't want to do is put in bigger flywheels, clutches etc because that defeats the purpose of having a lightweight um, car. And personally I think it's plenty of power and I actually prefer this because the clutch isn't super heavy like it is with um, some of the Porsche GT cars as an example. It's a bit of a bonus because it you know, allows me to be able to maybe daily a car like this more often than um, you, other, uh, you otherwise might. The seats hug you really well, so you can actually drive this car quite aggressively without being thrown around in the seat. Obviously the other, you know, alternative is having bucket seats, but that does then take away sort of, you know, the comfort aspect. Wow! Whew. I was going to say, let's give it some beans. This car is quick. It's seriously quick. It's a rear wheel drive car. And it's a bit of a driver's car. It has a bit of both personalities. Take it over three and a half thousand RPM and you can make this car dance around. And then you can just, you know, it's happy to just cruise around as well. But yeah, I didn't even give it full throttle in. The car was dancing like a ballerina. I mean, that engine is a fantastic engine. It sounds so good. It has that AMG burble. And, you know, the rest, Aston has got on with it. And I think they've produced a brilliant car. You know, this is, they've only made 200 of these. So it's quite a, quite a rare car. And 
you know, brand new, these cars were 150,000 pounds. Now they're under 100,000, and I think, you know, they provide fantastic value. That and a manual gearbox as well. Such a rewarding car. You know, I've driven the standard Aston and I wasn't, you know, all too impressed with it. And this has actually been, you know, amazingly good. There's been a lot of flooding here, so um, yeah, there's tons of water ahead of me. So I'm actually going to do the right thing and do a U-turn here. You know, they have made a weight saving of 100 kilograms compared to the standard Vantage. Normally on paper, you may look at it and think, oh, that's, that isn't that much. But honestly, you really feel it when you're in the car. This does feel like a very, very light car. It is incredible how much of a difference that can make, you know, in a car like this. It still does look aggressive, you know, from the outside you wouldn't think it's a lightweight car. It still has so many of the comfort creatures, you know, it's got 360 degree cameras, folding wing mirrors, you've got your heated seats, you know, it's got everything you need, you know, for it to be a comfortable cruiser. So, in some respects, this makes for that ideal partner, you know, to take with you to the south of France or all the Brecon beacons in Wales. This isn't a very extended review and you know this car is you know not a piece of cake to handle. So I am using most of my energy to focus on the road and concentrate. And yeah, I'm thoroughly loving it. So this car from new was owned by the renowned boxer Joe Calzaghi, which some of the boxing fans might know. So he had it ordered brand new from Aston and yeah only owner of this car. The ceramic brakes they feel really really sharp as well. You know as soon as you step on them you know they're there to save you or bring you to a safe stop. In terms of fuel efficiency not that you buy this car for its fuel efficiency but you'd be pleased to know that you could get 30 miles per gallon out of it quite comfortably and obviously if you put your foot down and you're heavy footed you will start to see in and around 20 miles per gallon. The fact that it's a seven speed gearbox, that obviously helps because when you're cruising at 60, 70 mile an hour, you can just, you know, stick it in the seventh gear. I also like these wing mirrors, you know, they're kind of flared out, very, very aggressive aerodynamic. It's, yeah, they just sit very, very beautifully. They make an absolute pleasure to look out of it and see what's behind and obviously people have the pleasure like I do with a polo that's following me you know he's sticking in quite close behind he wants to make sure that I'm in his line of sight because these cars are you know something to behold you know for some people it might just be another car but for most people it's a dream so seeing it out on the road is an absolute, you know, joy for them. And sometimes we shouldn't forget about that, you know, we should remember that. I remember driving a Porsche GT3 RS in uh, Scotland and I had my brother with me and I actually said that to him, you know, as the car was, you know, on full song, you know, I said to him that, you know, right now I feel like I'm doing charity work because the people that can hear this engine is music to their ears. Obviously, you know, car enthusiasts, I don't mean everyone, but 
you know, how often do you hear these cars, you know, at full song in person? You know, not many people do, and I think people appreciate it, but often, you know, they don't, they don't have an opportunity to come up and tell you that. And I'm pretty sure this is why this guy in the polo is uh, sticking close to me behind. So we'll give him a bit of beans, give him a bit of a gap, and let him enjoy the sound of this V8. Oh, wow, he is, he is doing his level best. That's it. Hopefully one day he owns an Aston like this because I think he will make good use of it based on uh, how he's driving that 1.4 litre Polo. <laughs> so this car is for sale at under 100,000 and I think that makes for fantastic value for money. You know, so I can't thrash it around too much. I've got to respect it and um, leave it in a, in a good condition for the next owner. So if you have enjoyed this review, please comment, like and subscribe and see you on the next one.